faith and credit, <laughs> the recognition, acceptance, and enforcement of the laws, <laughs> orders and judgments of another jurisdiction, oh, oh, specifically the recognition of one state of another state's legal decisions. Yeah. <laughs> Now, uh, the state of Washington has refused to give full faith and credit to the stipulation and order of Guam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And your thought was, as a state, that you're just going to obstruct me for suing you. Mm -hmm. But I gave you a copy of the stipulation and order, yes. And um, I mentioned that it's not in the public court record. Oh. Now, Let's say I sued you, right, for violating the Constitution of the United States. Mm -hmm. And your thought was, well, oh, as much as we want to, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to refuse to uh, recognize, accept, and enforce mm -hmm. the laws, orders, and judgments of another jurisdiction, oh, Specifically, the recognition uh, by the state of Washington <laughs> of another state's legal decision. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, the Superior Court of Guam stipulation and order. Yes. Mm -hmm. Gave me the right to have my criminal record expunged. Yes. Of being arrested. Uh huh. Not charged, but the charges were there if I didn't do what it was required. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Do you have any knowledge of a stipulation and order from the Superior Court of Guam mm -hmm. that this state is refusing to enforce? Yes. That uh, would require me to have custody of my sons? Yes. And then is there any other states yes. that are uh, enforcing yes. the fraud of a state that supports uh -huh, terrorism? Pooh! Because the court may vacate the trial date scheduled in this matter. Yeah. Uh, having entered into diversion, yeah. completed the counseling requirements, uh -huh. paid the applicable fines and fees. Yeah. I was unsupervised status of my probation. I was allowed to leave the island. Ouch. And then any contact between Mr. Budnick and his wife and children, which will be regulated by the court in the state of Washington, Mr. Budnick shall obey the orders of the Washington court. Yes. Now, this full faith and credit means that you uh -huh, had a stipulation and order where you could not issue a protection order in 2011. Did the state of Washington not understand the full faith and credit of the other court's jurisdiction? Full faith and credit act? Yeah. A federal statute requiring federal courts to give a state court's judgment the same preclusive effect uh -huh, as the judgment would have under state law 28 U.S. Code 1738. Oh. See, Migra versus Warren City School District Board of Education. Yes. Uh, this FC, FFCA? Yeah. Now, um, the federal courts uh -huh, have to give uh, the state court's judgment the same preclusive effect as the judgment would have under state law. Yes. That means I can sue every federal judge of the United States of America. <clears throat> for refusing to enforce this state to enforce the stipulation and order <clears throat> where you have knowledge of my rights being violated. <clears throat> so for every judge that does have to, because it's a federal statute right now, you know, why don't you get me the prostate of each of those district court judges? Uh -huh. Judge, Judge Brent Basden. <laughs> Superior Court Judge Brent Baston, can I have that walnut that's right next to your rectum there? Ouch. And then why don't you get me the prostate <clears throat> of the Supreme Court Justices Gonzalez, Ouch. Wiggins, <coughs> Johnson. <coughs> and then for each and every Supreme Court mm -hmm. that does have knowledge that you've refused to enforce the stipulation and order. Yes. But you issued a dissolution of marriage where I didn't receive it right now. Mm -hmm. And you issued a child support order called the Full Faith and Credit for Child Support Orders Act. Yes, yeah, yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. 28 U.S. Code 1738B. <coughs> I'm going to want to sue each justice. Uh-huh. Each judge. <coughs> yes, it does. Now, when I told you to give me... <laughs>